Well, it's that time again. Time to get this party started. side of drops I'm out of there. I'll be slipping and sliding all over the road. I've got sleepers chin slicks on the back of this. I've done this before. It's scary.
somebody's here. Nice bet. Nice, nice Corvette. I don't know if I've seen that before. As I check that out. These guys hate when I have this on because <laughs> they don't sit all the secrets. They, they want to keep all the secrets to themselves. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Yeah. Won't you be mine? Who's vet? That's pretty vet. That's George's? Ah, oh, forget it. You just, just ruined it. I thought it was nice. I thought it was nice. <laughs> you say George. Yeah, you know George. Yeah. Did you see that 40? He's right there. He's got a 40 too, right? Yeah, you got a 40. He brought it last week. A couple weeks ago he bought it. It's a 10-footer. Is it? Yeah. It's a 10-footer. Maybe a 20-footer? Well, he's telling me he got paid 25 grand for it. I go, well, that's he's not bad. He's a liar? He's a liar. What did he tell you? He's always alive. Well, I... Everything he says. Everything. So his mouth is moving? Hey, how does that offer up work? Do they uh, put shit on there for like a week and then... I don't do that. Offer that offer up is gets a bunch of crook show up at your house. It's normal. <laughs> I thought days? it was like Craigslist or something. Uh -huh. It's kind of like Craigslist. Can you buy the shit like right away? Yeah, you communicate usually through email and stuff. But you, most people don't put their phone numbers on Because they had a... Then uh, you can exchange phone numbers. I was telling him, my son-in-law sent me a link. A uh, 68 GTO mm -hmm. on offer up, four speed AC car. Oh, I want 4,500 bucks for it. 4,500 yeah, bucks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ended yeah. up calling for eight grand. Oh, okay. Um, so that's why I didn't know how the hell does it go for eight grand? When well, you probably there's a bidding site, I guess. Somebody said you got a bunch of people interested, I guess. Have you yeah, seen uh, Bring a Trailer yet? Yeah, that's a good site. Don't, don't, because you go in there, you're on there like four and a half hours. I swear to God, there's so much good <laughs> shit there. There's so much good, and I'm so tempted to put some cars there. Hey, a lot of good stuff been sold on that site. It's hundred really bucks, hundred bucks till it sells. It sells. But Perfect. I showed him that, uh, that GTO. Well, that was good. Actually, wow. pretty good. It was a nice car. Actually. Really? What year? Like 68. Wow. It, I don't know what motor. It had like a, what was it, had a uh, cam in it or something. Yeah. And a little bit of work. Shuttle Brock yeah. carburetor, but it wasn't all... But the car was, the car was good shape. Yeah, it was yeah, all there. Was nice. yeah, yeah, it was all there. And I thought, it was like a Vega and an enclosed trailer. They got one going for about 20 grand. I mean, is that the one you're talking about this morning? Yeah. It, I mean, it's done. It's a Vega? Done a Vega? 63, yeah, 63 Vega. For 20 grand. 20 grand. Right. Oh, no, seven, sorry, 73 hey, Vega on? with a trailer. Hey. I mean, it, it is all aluminum. You know what I mean? There's the Vega. It's got a one-piece front end. I got one. I don't need another one. Yeah. Outside of the trailer. Oh, that's a racing the jump? Yeah, yeah, yeah racing awning. jump. All the Who's this? Ready to go. The it's you know, it's, like it's, in, to it's go. in Arizona. Oh, okay, Warrington, Arizona. I don't know why I haven't seen that yet. No, and there, there's the motor the right there. I don't want the car. Brodex heads and everything it's sitting on it. Twenty grand. Twenty. It's down there for With a trailer. With a trailer. Twenty-two five. Bring a trailer. Just bring your truck and. What kind of trailer was it? I couldn't see. It's a Hallmark. Twenty-eight footer. Is it a newer Hallmark? The smooth side. It looks like a whole older one. It looks like an older one. It looks almost looks like a stacker. Almost. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's eight got, footer. Yeah, it's, it's got, got the lights oh, yeah, yeah. and free awning, yeah. free awning. Yeah, it's ready yeah to he's go. got the big door too. Yeah, yeah, big, yeah. Big, big door. Huh? Got a big door for a golf cart. Put a motor in it, golf cart. Yeah. There it is. That's there. nice. Twenty grand. Yeah, Twenty two five. It's listed for. It's more like you just walk. I have to go look. Twenty grand. Here's twenty grand. Grab your bag. Come up next weekend. Hey guys, look what I got. Which is fine. That's fine with me. I'm, I'm not gonna put my. We're gonna look around here. Car looks good today. See, hey, George is, <laughs> George, George has walked away, so I'll come look at his bed now. <clears throat> it is a pretty bed. He likes that red. Uh, horse? No, it's automatic. I knew it. I knew it'd be an automatic car. <laughs> Small block in. 
Yeah, that's George. Uh, what else we got here? 57s. This is truckers. I don't remember seeing this. 58 or 60 GTO. Or uh, <coughs> Apache. Wow. That's nice. It's really nice. Really nice. Put the uh, antenna right there. I know you kids don't know what antennas are. We used to have them for radios. Oh, this is a beautiful truck. Really nice. What's shaking? I says, what's shaking? Not much. Man, you should bring this out to the... Uh, Try fives, I'm telling you. This looks good. Yeah, this this will be the first Try Five Nationals on the West Coast in many years. You sold the Dodge. You sold the Dodge? Where did that go? Sweden. Really? Yeah. Big, yeah. big Swede. Damn, sound bitches are buying everything. The big Swede bought it. Guy named Jan. <laughs> I think that's the same guy that goes around buying Cadillacs. And, uh, his buddy Johnny. Really? Yeah, those Swedes love American cars. And they love drag racing. Well, he enjoyed, he enjoyed the dog. So these have never been off, huh? Oh, I'd say they have been. Usually they break that uh, little solder right there. Yeah, and if not, you can tell because there'll be a little indentation where they pulled it out. But man, I spent hours on those. Right. Hours. I used to take mine off. I would just turn this. Yeah, yeah. So they have this spear that goes in about this far here, and you can't. You got to take this off, lift it up, and these are real long. And then you have to pull that back, and what a pain in the ass. And then on these. Uh, you can tell if it was a Monday car because on one side the guy took the glue and went this way and on this side the guy went like this and on all the low spots were where all the rust was. So it was a Monday car. This one was probably a drunken Friday. A drunken Friday. <laughs> well, you got a lot of nice trim on it. That's what I like. My second, the first thing I'm going to do if I decide to keep it is I'm taking that Dakota gauges out. Good move. <laughs> <laughs> Good move. Now, Dakota came out with these analog gauges now that are a lot nicer than those. Those, those things are so dated. That one's 1995. Is it? Yeah. I sent, sent it in, had him repair it. It lasted a day. Yeah, they're a pain in the ass. So, Did you change these springs? No. You know, I changed my springs, and my flappers are always sticking up. I mean, I guess it can't match the tensile strength or yeah. something on the springs. Yeah, those have been boogered up a little. Oh, there's some boogers on it. But still, a, but she's a driver. great looking East Coast car. Did you ever find out where it was built? Was St. No. Louis, it looks like. Never paid much attention. Is this a Daytona bumper? Or a Daytona frame? Don't you know. you don't know? Let's see it right now. Let's look. No. No, so that's another thing to tell us, an East Coast car. A two-piece frame. But the thing is, is all, all the East Coast cars are all rust bu buckets. Rear end is Pontiac. Oh, it is a Pontiac? Yeah, did they re-drill it for Pontiac? It's got a Trans Am uh, rear end in it. So, so they, they redeal the hubs for Chevy then, I guess. Oh yeah, okay. It's a, it is a, a Chevy kit on it. Yeah, the whole rear end was taken out. Trans Am was put in. Wow. <coughs> wow. Oh, it's a, a, a twelve bolt, or it's a ten bolt. Yeah, twelve bolt.
Ah, the signs of an East Coast car. <laughs> yeah, these flappers here. When the, when the springs get, these springs get too, the new ones are just too tight. <clears throat> if I do like these. The smaller wheel? I took mine after spending like 40 hours on it when I first restored the car. And it, it beautiful, it came out. But I couldn't get in and out of the car. And then I put the tilt on, and uh, I sold mine to a guy in Sweden, my, my wheel, yeah. because it was all, all redone. All nice. Whose Apache is this, you know? Carl's? Yeah. Uh, That's pretty. That's pretty. Okay. Well, kind of a kind of a slow day in the neighborhood. Not a lot going. Let's go over here to the beach. Ocean session. Uh, these, these guys and their radios. That's what we need. We need radios. Well, he's, uh, he showed up at LS. He showed him showing up at LS Fest in uh, Vegas. And he had the tire wire hose clamp, a bunch of nets to it because he didn't have any netting. You know, in the later ones, I, I'm like, he didn't have any netting when he has the putting car cage. But if you look at, it, he's got the arm restraints. You don't have to have the nets if you have the arm restraints. So. Huh. But you look like you said, he's run 780s in it. But yeah, I, he's got to back that up. Yeah, he can't, a years. he can't get back into that again. Well, when he made that pass, there was no water. Yeah. Because he popped the head gasket. So he went back out, drained it, made those pass, and that's when he made his 780. Talk about Cletus? Yeah. That's yeah. <laughs> 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 son of a bitch. You see the racetrack he got? Yeah. That's pretty cool. That so would be cool, right next to the drag strip. That's why I make so much money. Oh, oh shit. Sure They're them. lining up to sponsor him already. Yeah. yeah Good. Right. He needed a drag strip. Well, 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 it's right next door. He can drive there. Yeah. Well, he'll, going make, to, he'll make some deal when he has a big show. He'll yeah. use the drag strip. Yeah. And that's a perfect setup for a big show, man. You can do everything there. He's got like a thousand horsepower. Now. Neighbor? <laughs> it's a neighbor. Yeah. Yeah. He went by a GT500 motor and stuck it in. Then they stuck a blower on top of that. It had a supercharger. I think the GT500s have. Yeah, they put a big upgrade. Yeah. yeah, it makes like a thousand horsepower. It's a, it's a tire shredder but with a that coyote is. motor in it. A lot of power. So now everybody's hot onto these burnout cars. You know, like, they, did you see the videos of him in Australia? Yeah. Or New Zealand or wherever yeah, they were? Uh, and everybody wants burnout cars now. That's well, the Well, three news. of those cars, Warbird, his buddies are coming over here. They're going to put on a show in Indy, I think. Can you? And he's going to sponsor them. I wish I was a tire dealer when they did that because I tell you, they shred <laughs> some rubber. They shred yeah, some they rubber. They don't have big tires. They're just... I know, I know, I know, but... Uh, is, that, is that the game? Is that the game they put a narrow tire on it? Well, yeah, they put a small tire. Yeah. Yeah. And they put a drag radio on there. <laughs> yeah, they ain't going to waste the money on something good, that's well, for sure. they have special tires now that... Uh, Colors on it. Colors. Yeah. Yeah. Colors. Yeah. Colors. yeah, you, you can't... Yeah. Really? Well, I guess better than that. They use that for a baby reveal now. Yeah. They have color tire. I go, you're kidding. Shit, well, you regret that. <laughs> Dude, yeah. yeah, you're leaving the hospital with the baby in the car. <laughs> At least they got, they got smart dogs. They start penalizing the guys. Yeah, he's strapped in. What are you talking about? For catching on fire and kissing the wall. Hitting the wall, so at least they. A continuous burn. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know what the rules were. I mean, I guess there are no rules, are the rules. Don't hit the wall. Don't hit the wall. That's about it. I saw a farm truck went over there and did that shit. Yeah, he came out and did a donut whim. But that wasn't, that wasn't the farm truck. He did it in. It was a copy they built oh, over there. Oh, was it his? Oh, no, they I built it over there. Oh, that's right. They put an LS in it. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Nevertheless, he went right head on towards George. the camera. Yeah, he couldn't even. He did it off the wall. Uh, when Cletus did it over there, he, was, he caught on fire. He got disqualified. Boom! Wow. Yeah, yeah. You see that fucking? See the camera? Oh, the safety guy. The it was a safety guy. And you just yeah. see this 
Yeah. Him all around him is like, oh shit. Cletus has done burnouts before, so he had more control than Jeez, the, yeah. the farm truck did. Farm truck doesn't all have to burn out. He just goes out of the Go straight. Go, go straight. You know, he's used to traction. When he starts start spinning, he's wanting to lift. <laughs> <laughs> what do I do? Reaction. What if, why is it spinning? Let me lift. I, I don't know. Farm, farm crush kind of played out. I mean, anywhere you show up and you just listen, you know that it's a sleeper. Because he's everybody knows about farm trucks, so he ain't gonna. I don't know how he finds a race. Right. Just Those shows, sell some t-shirts. Okay. Yeah. About ninety percent of those races you've ever seen on TV, they just set up the TV shows. Yeah, it wasn't one I seen. One of them whooped his ass. It was some other car, but it was some chick. But fuck, she had some wicked car too. Oh, I'll go home and get my Camaro. They knew him and they whooped him. They set it all up. Uh, yeah. Now this is what you need to make a shredder out of right there. There you go. There's a shredder. Sounds pretty good. You got the poverty dish. Yeah, I mean. There, hey, there's an LS6 Corvette on eBay for $13,000. It's a 2004. It's got 103, no, 103,000 miles. Huh. And looks, looks fine. Yeah, some, of the, some of the early vents are real cheap. Yeah. But, but the problem is, is they're junk. <laughs> I think sounds all right. Good morning. Thank you. Just got up on the head of three weeks. So I oh. What? Yeah. Oh, been hiding cool. around here somewhere? Which you buy? Hey, give me some. Fontana. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Montana's got the best cars. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Fontucky, used to have a Landau yeah, top on it, huh? One came from Kentucky. Yeah, a black top. <laughs> yeah, well, they said it had a white top. All I've done so far is just some fine tuning tires and exhaust. It still had the seers. Hey, what, are you doing with this, what are you doing with that shirt? I bought it from him. You bought it from Mike? Yeah. Because I sell Mike's stuff on eBay. Is he stuff? Or that shirt? No, I sell no, I sell his car parts. I've his cars. met him before. And uh, nice guy. Yeah, really like Nice guy. What, what motor is this, 318? It's supposed to be a 360. Supposed to be? Yeah. I don't really know. That's like saying it's a small block. You yeah. don't know what the heck is. Uh -huh. It says it's a 78 360 there, and they told me it's a 360, but it's just a two-barrel. It sounds pretty good. It has a 727, but it's got the stock 276, seven and a quarter rear end, so I've got a beef the rear end up, give some higher gears, get a little bit of a stall converter because it just blah, 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 blah. <coughs> goes. Room enough for a Hemi. Yeah, I'm saying well, you can squeeze I've, one in there. So, I moved from Florida and I have a 76 Valiant with a 440 in it. So my goal is 440 or 383 in here. I just sold but, a Dodge yesterday and had a 383 in it. Well, I've got a 440 in there with a tech <coughs> and a 383 sitting on the engine stand. But, well, it'd be like a great sleeper. Don't do anything to the rest of the car. Just put a monster motor in it. Well, whoever had it, they tried to paint it with the wrong thing, so I think I'm going to get black out the hood and get a black vinyl top. Yeah, I think a black vinyl top will look good. And when I go with bigger bolt patterns, it's got small bolt pattern, four wheels around, I'm going to go around the place. Those are four lugs? Or what? I think they're doing five on four. Five on four? Oh, shit. Yeah, it's four wheel drum. Yeah. So I've got the police D slots I'm going to put on there with the. I mean, caps. I mean, if you could keep this looking like this, mm -hmm. I mean that's the secret, and, and, and to, that's the that's the fad now. I can't, see, I'm from Indiana. I can't believe how clean this thing is. Really, no I, rest. Man, I'm. Well, where it shows up is in this in the back apron there. Yeah. In the trunk is spotless. Yeah. It's had some damage down the side, but I'm not too worried about that because I'm more worried about making it go instead of show. Well, it's up here is where you got the rust, and it, it is pretty clean. It is real clean. Yeah, it's Fontana, huh? Yeah, that's what blows my mind how clean it is. So it, it needs work and it needs stuff, but the body is the most expensive stuff. Right, right, so right. So you get a rest free car, you won't spend that much money on it. I'm telling you, so man. It's got a little damage down here, but I'm not too concerned about that. Yeah. Sleeper has sleeper written all over it. Yep. Cool. Sounds good for a little two barrel. Yeah, it's, it's a two barrel, but they put a pin in it or something. It, it, when you put it here, it's a little bit, little bit of moving. So I'll put a water pump on it. Yeah. 
which is it? Now, where's the fuel leak? Is it inside? <laughs> um, it is. I just changed this today. Oh, oh. It, um, it's got dirt in the tank, so it. Oh, yeah, fuel, yeah. So I replaced that this morning, right before coming. Every five minutes now. Yeah, that's why I carry the cleanable one. Oh, there you go. <laughs> this is probably what you're smelling there. Yeah. Great car. Thank cool, you. cool. It's got a bad power steering leak, but I've got a manual box to make it easier to do a big block swap. How many miles on it? It says 9,000, so it's right at 109, I guess. Yeah. The hood is the only real rest. <clears throat> now, these poverty caps, do they fit the other wheels, too? Or is that only for the small bolt pattern? I had them on a big bolt pattern. 15 inch wheels. Same caps? Yeah, I had them on my Valiant. I had them, I had big bolt pattern on the back and small on the front. Uh, I've got the disc brake conversion to make it bigger, uh, but it was on small and big bolt patterns. But I don't know if the police wheels, the D slots on them. Yeah, I don't see either. But I love the poverty caps. So do I. I just love them. He don't like them. My wife don't like them. I was like, that is, that is muscle car. Well, it's, it's how old you are. It really tells you, you know, what area you grew up in. What was, you know, what really uh, rocked your boat back in the day. Cool car though. It's uh, 72. 72. And is, is it, it's a swinger. Yeah. So you said this has 727 in it? Yeah. That's, that's why I'm No options. Thinking. No, just automatic. AM here. radio. They were just plain Jane, weren't they? Mm -hmm. Power steering, manual brakes, manual drum. That's, Kate, what, I, that's what cracks me up the power steering and everything else manual. Yeah. Headliner's great. The seats are kind of dry right now, but I get those replaced. The green's really growing on me. So I have a little light here, huh? Yep. I don't I, know if it works or not. I haven't got that far. Yeah, well, there's a switch. The switch is there. The light must be up under No, it's, it's on. It's on? Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. But have you ever... Are you no. a little car guy? No. <laughs> well, I've had several darts, and I've never seen these work. Oh. <clears throat> The switch just needs a little bit cleaned up. But that's, that it works. It turns on the things under the, under the see, dash. Map light. Map light. Right, yeah. right, right. So that it lights up your feet. <laughs> it's crazy. I thought it was on the mirror. They have little lights on the mirror, I guess. Not. This is my third A body, and I've never seen one that actually works. That one works. The dome light works, but for some reason it's not coming on with the doors. Uh -huh. So I just got to check this. Well, that's a great little, uh, Thank you. little project for you to work on and learn all about automotive. That's how, uh, how I learned. And underneath, I can't believe it. Is? Oh clean it is. Damn, it is. I'd stick with that green, black top. Yeah, black top, and I'm just going to go black hood. I may go. And, uh, if and, I go with the four barrel and put the Fitec on there, I don't know if it's going to interfere with the hood. So yeah. if I do, I want to go with the Demon Twin Snorkel. Yeah. But I want to keep a flat hood. Just, well, cool car, man. Have drive. Thank you. Thanks for bringing it out. I've been dying. It's been up here a few times. I've been dying yeah. to get something of my own up here. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I just love old school shit. That's my. Bla I have that black '57 right there. Oh, nice. I think I talked to your son last time. Uh, if you did, you'd be the first one. <laughs> He's a fireman in Los Angeles. So is there another one like that? '57. Uh, no, there's only one like that. Thank God. Uh, uh, no. No. Yeah. 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 Anyway, what's your name? I'm Travis Craig. Travis Randy, what's nice your name? You. I'm Luke. Luke, Luke, glad to meet you. We're new to California. Just got you? here in June and just bought a house in Norco. Been there really? And where did you move from? Originally Indiana, but we lived in Florida for two years. It wasn't. You got away from that humidity, huh? Yes, the weather here is so beautiful. So, so uh, I, and I spend a lot of time in North Carolina, okay? And I, my girlfriend lives there, and it's just like the humidity is the only thing. I love everything else but the humidity. Well, Indiana was like that too, but then Indiana actually got hotter with the humidity in the summer. Yeah. But in the winter, when it gets down 10 below for a week and stuff, it's like I'm done with it. So how long have you lived here? I got here in June. The kids and I got here in June. Oh, you guys are just newbies. Brand new, yep. We ran into the house. snow behind your ears. Yeah. We ran into the house in Corona, so we just, we just moved in in February. We're here. Well, uh, how do you like the traffic? 
<laughs> you guys commute? Do you commute to work? I work in Rancho Cucamonga. Oh, so you don't have a bag. Well, Andrea works in Irvine. I went to Los Angeles yesterday. I went all the way out to the airport. It took me four and a half hours there and back. Four and a half hours. I did it in the middle of the day. Oh, I've never had... We schedule a meeting because we work days, uh, so we schedule our flight.